Alright, so hello everyone. Today I'm going to be going over two new commands in this tutorial which have extremely close correspondence. Um, this is the spawn point command and the set world spawn uh, command. These two commands are basically the exact same, it's only the fact of it is is that you can set one person's spawn point um, or the whole server's spawn point. That's the only difference between them. Um, so yeah, we're going to go over the spawn point one first, I think. Actually, no, we'll go through the set world spawn point one. So we'll go slash, we're going to do slash, uh, set world spawn. That's when you type out spawn space. And once again, here we are again, we have the tilde key popping up. So I went through this in um, the, what command was it? It was the teleport command. I went through this whole coordinates basis um, in that video and basically the, what the tilde key is is where your current position is. So if you put tilde and then 50 uh, in the x direction you'll you'll be basically saying where I, are, where I am but 50 blocks in front of me. Um, teleport me to there or set the world spawn to there. You know so if we literally go out here and do tilde, tilde, tilde that will set the spawn point exactly where I'm standing in the X, Y, and Z direction. So that you where I'm standing. So literally you can see my position is 95184 minus 183, and you can see the set world spawn point is literally them numbers. So it's exactly where I am right now. But if I add say 300 blocks, you'll see that it's the exact same numbers except it's 1251, which is exactly 300 blocks uh, in the X direction. So it'll set it how many blocks away but obviously I don't think you'll really be using the the tilde key with the numbers after it because most of the time when you're going to use the set world spawn point you'll actually like, like be standing where you want the spawn point is so just for example if I just make like this little like thing here you'll probably want the spawn point to be right here see if this spawn point one right here you'll just stand on top of it and then you set the spawn point you know um that's like literally it but the probably the only time you want to set a spawn point using anything else is probably when you're using commands, command blocks, um, and that is by using specific number values. So the specific x value, the specific y value, and the specific x uh, and the specific z value, and that's because sometimes you use command blocks in an area where you know no one will be able to see, and you want to set the person's spawn point. Or they set the whole world spawn point to somewhere extremely specific, um, out of reach of the command block, obviously. Uh, so let's just say set world spawn point four hundred seventy nine hundred. Obviously, that's quite a, a while away from me right now, um, but it set the world spawn point all the way over there. Um, so it, that's something you can do as well. You might find some use in it with uh, the command blocks. But most of the time with this command, you're just going to be using this one right here with the tilde keys because that's exactly where you're currently standing. That's what you're going to probably use it for. Um, it just makes it way easier to like just use the tilde keys instead of typing in the, the exact position which you are in right now. Because um, typing them numbers and remembering the numbers is just a little bit difficult for some, such a, a basic command like that just to see where you are currently. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is that command. We are going to go through the spawn point one now. It's basically the exact same thing. I'm not going to um, repeat um, what I've just went through. Spawn point. So spawn point, and you can see now we have the target selector. So instead of, you know, um, having the position, which will be next, we'll have to choose the person. So we have, obviously, first of all, all players, so we can target everyone on the server, which is basically the exact same as... Um, the set world spawn point except the set world spawn point goes for people who aren't in the server so it goes for every single person who's in the server and people who aren't in the server so if anyone joins in the future um who hasn't been on the server before and wasn't on the server when you actually set this they will too be spawned in the area where you set the world spawn in um but for this one if you say do spawn point at all players it'll only make the people in the server go to that spawn point. Anyone else who joins in afterwards will go to the normal world spawn, you know? Um, all entities, I don't know if that's, uh, if that if that really works, I don't know. 
I don't know. Um, you can do the closest player. Um, if you want them to be spawned somewhere random, um, you can do a random player out of a group of friends which have on a server, or you can just spawn your spawn point yourself. You can do at s, or you can do the name of yourself, or you can do a name of a certain person in the server. Um, and yeah, you can just do that. So I'm going to do spawn point myself. And then you've got the little bracket again. So I'm going to go through this little bracket. Um, I, I didn't actually go through it last time. But we have some things here. I'm not going to go through obviously everything. But we have name. So spawn point. Um, you know, you, you, this is this mostly works with uh, entities. Um, the little bracket. Because if an entity has a certain name, like the name tag, um, you can add that in, that value. Uh, type obviously so type equals I'm gonna add the equal sign and then you can choose the mob so we can do creeper and uh, minecraft creeper and then you know you can add a comma and add another value do certain things like that um but yeah, yeah that bracket thing don't really go too far into it because it's not that you know i mean it's not that bad um it's um it's a bit confusing though um but then we're at the same predicament again. We've just got the tilde keys, or we can have the specific x, y, and z values after that. So yeah, it's literally the exact same command. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Um, we just want to go through these two command, uh, commands at the exact same time, because they're really similar. Um, but it's pretty useful. Spawn point command. You can troll your friends by spawning them like 500 blocks in the sky, and they can just like fall <laughs> and then hit the ground. Um, you can do stuff like that. Uh, I don't condone that because you may lose some friends because of that, but um, it's something you can do though um, with this command. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Power down.